Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. This is Jack Graham, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today the Avella floor plan. Built by Toll Brothers in Sky Canyon. Now, the Avella floor plan has 2,263 square feet. We have a two story with three bedrooms, up to four bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, two and a half actually, and a two car garage. We've got a beautiful modern farmhouse elevation on this home. And the starting price for the Spanish uh, looking home is 503, for this one is 513. That is the starting price. However, there are gonna be other things that you need to add to the purchase price of the house, such as your lot premium. And right now those lot premiums are ranging anywhere between five to 10,000. And then on top of that, you have to also add your uh, design center options. At the moment, they do have a, an incentive of $30,000 where you can go to the design center and the first $30,000 that you spend are gonna be on them. Everything else on top of that is gonna be on you. All right, let's get back into the video. First, before we go in there, guys, hit the like button. That really helps out the channel. And also subscribe to the channel if you want more video tours like these. Now, 2,200, almost 2,300 square feet with uh, four bedrooms, uh, well, up to four bedrooms. Avella floor plan. As soon as we walk in, we're greeted by this uh, two-story foyer giving it a nice open feel. They definitely upgraded here with some nice accent walls throughout all the staircase. They do a great job here with the, <clears throat> with the model homes. However, that's not what's included. What you get is the orange peel texture here on the, on the walls. Then you still get 10 foot ceilings on the first floor and nine foot ceilings on the second floor, which is nice. Uh, eight foot doors also are an included option as well. Over here, powder room, you get the three and a half inch baseboard. That's the included option as well. Well, it's a similar one. And then a nice open floor plan. Look at that. That's a good one. Look at that island. It's huge. Beautiful. So let's talk a little bit of numbers here. So 503 starting price. Let's say want to go to the design center, you could be at, you know, let's say the lot premium is 5,000 and uh, you want to go to the design center. And if, let's say you want to spend only 30,000, what does that get you? Not much. Maybe you can upgrade the cabinets, countertops, and that's it. Uh, maybe you'll be able to do, it depends on the style that you get. Maybe you'll be able to do some other options like recess lighting or some structural options. But that's gonna be, usually people, what the average person here spends, it's probably around 30 to 40,000 in structural options. So structural options would include something like this beautiful sliding door, it's a 12 footer. And then uh, also, for example, a, an extra bedroom added or uh, whatever, uh, extend the covered patio, right? Because it comes with the covered patio, but not with the extension. But you could get the extended covered patio. So. Usually that's what people spend the money on and it's gonna be somewhere around 30 or 40. On top of that, you have to go to the design center. I would say people are gonna spend in this community around 70 to $80,000. Now you do get a $30,000 $30, incentive if you do use their lender to go with, oh, there's some waters, beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, really nice floor plan. Now this one has the extended countertop. Now the included one is a little bit smaller, it's about 12 inches smaller because here they wrap the cabinets all around. But for this cabinet setup, you're probably looking at around $12,000 because it has the wrapped cabinets. And then on top of that, we have uh, the, you know, the upgraded shaker cabinet that they have in this model. As far as appliances, what's included is this uh, appliance package, which is the Whirlpool. You have convection oven below, and then your microwave. This one is, uh, you can connect it also to your Wi-Fi and control it from your phone if you're, you know, you're cooking something that takes a long time. That's very convenient. We saw the pantry over here. Nice size pantry for the size of the house. I like how this one has a little bit of a corner, uh, you know, cabinet here. 
It's pretty cool. Countertop, it comes with granite. They upgraded to the quartz. As far as the cabinets, it comes with a birch uh, brown look, uh, brown looking cabinet. And then as far as the flooring, it comes with a tile, a 12 by 24 tile in the kitchen. It's a ceramic tile. And um, over here, dining room, living room, as well as the upstairs, it's gonna be all carpet, excluding all the wet areas pretty much. So bathrooms, kitchen, entryway, and laundry room are gonna be tile with the 12 by 24. Nice size living room. I like this floor plan, it's very well laid out. If you want a little bit of a touch of luxury and you don't need a house that's too big, you wanna be within a certain price range under 600, then this might be the option for you. As far as outside, you'll get the covered patio that you see right here. It will come with pavers underneath the covered patio and then all outside is gonna be just dirt. And then uh, this will be your average size lot so you can still put in a pool. They made a small pool here just to dip in a little bit and just relax but you can definitely do this this is a really nice design i do like this a lot because at the end of the day some people don't really need a big pool to splash around and all just to get wet during the hot summers here and you got a really nice size backyard here for entertainment and also as you can see that beautiful built-in barbecue option which that's going to cost you quite a bit to do something like this it'll be something around twenty-five thousand with the builder so keep that in mind all right going back in let's go to the second floor see what it has to offer second floor comes with three bedrooms we don't have a bedroom downstairs on this one we do have a powder room on this side next to the entrance and then on this side we have that uh, coat closet I like how you can put some furniture here or something to give a little bit of character to the staircase white stair rails are not included it comes with a pony wall once you put these stair rails you gotta put in an, an extra I would say this is gonna cost you about five grand to do the white mission style if you upgrade to the metal ones, those are gonna be somewhere around 10. So keep that in mind. That would also be a design center option. Now going up here onto the loft, we have a huge loft for the size of the house. It is uh, very spacious, probably around 20 feet long by about 12 wide. And then we have two windows over here that oversee the back of the house, so the backyard. And then in here, we do have HOAs of $160 a month, and that's the community pool that they have for, for anybody that wants to use it, but only exclusive to the people that live in here. Here, take a selfie, guys, and hit the like button. Now, linen closet, spacious. You'll get the Echo B thermostat, one downstairs, one upstairs, dual zone is what we get here. We have two bedrooms on there, laundry room and bathroom. And then over here you have the primary bedroom with, it, with its own bathroom. Now, this loft can also be turned into a full bedroom if you want to. So that would be the option for the four bathrooms, okay? Sorry, for the four bedrooms. Well, here your laundry room is, you have Washer and dryer, which are not included. Also, this part is not included. You don't have a sink and you don't have the upper cabinets. All you get is the pre-plumb. So you get a little plastic pan for your washer. And then on top you have to put in, it will come with a wooden rack. You can upgrade to all these things. But this, um, this uh, laundry room probably has around eight grand of upgrades between the washer, dryer and cabinets and the sink. Now, going in here, if your kid does ballet, it'll be a perfect setup. Nine foot ceilings on the second floor. That's nice. Now, as far as uh, lighting, it does not come with lighting in all the bedrooms. It only comes in the main areas in the hallways. Then if you wanna add the lighting, uh, you can put in just a pre-wire here for a fixture in the middle or you can do something else like the recess lights that you see in here. Usually I tell my clients, you got a budget for about two to $4,000 on electrical. Uh, if you are more of a tech savvy person that needs internet, some fiber optics and put internet in each room and all that stuff, you're gonna be more around four grand. 
to upgrade. I had some clients that do like $8,000 in upgrades to put in all the speakers and all the bells and whistles, but that's because they had the budget to do so. But you gotta keep that in consideration as well as an upgrade because a lot of times these builders, they say, oh yeah, look, it's a starting price. It's 500, that's cheap. It's cheaper than a resale house. But then once you put in all the upgrades, you're screwed pretty much. They get you that way. Uh, we have a single sink right here. You can do the double sink option. It will be an extra upgrade, about 1500, but this could be a great option as well. It's just for these two bedrooms. Then we have a walk-in shower, which is an upgrade. It comes with a fiberglass tub and shower combo. And then uh, something like this is gonna run you somewhere around five grand or so with the tile and all that stuff, maybe six. Going in here, huge bedroom. Uh, I mean, for the size of the house, it's a really good size. We have about 15 on that wall by about 18 on this one. Very spacious. And then the full bathroom here for your primary, which has the two, two undermount sinks. And then you also get the walk-in shower. That is the included option for the walk-in shower. Now you can also uh, change this up. You can get the luxury shower, which will extend all the way over here. It's gorgeous, but do you really need it? I don't know. This is already really nice to upgrade it to something like this with the tile. You're probably looking at around five grand to do it with them. Just for the tile, you know, like four or so. Then you have the toilet over there and your walk-in closet is actually outside the bathroom. So I kind of like that. And it's a spacious one. Okay, so final thoughts on this house. Starting price, 503. Most people for this house are gonna be somewhere around 600,000. If you're, no, I wouldn't say 600, maybe 570 or so. If you are, because of the incentives that they have, if you're one of those people that, uh, you know, wants to be a little bit conservative, maybe do your own upgrades after, no flooring, nothing, because their flooring is expensive, right? You're probably gonna be somewhere around 550. If, uh, if you have, um, you know, a big budget, then you'll probably be over 600. You'll have, if you wanna do it all ready to go, similar to the model home, maybe 620, 630. Anyway, I just wanna give you that insight. If you guys need a realtor that is comfortable with new construction, that knows the answer to all your questions without having to call the sales agent that works there, that can give you a, a path to finding the right house for you by showing you everything that is available in town here. And uh, someone with that experience when you build also to tell you, hey, this is what we should do, this is how much we should offer and all that stuff, because I know all the prices and what these homes are actually going for. Then reach out to me. I'd love to be your realtor and represent you and give you that knowledge that I have about these new construction homes, as well as all the resale homes out there. Uh, you know, if you decide to go resale, then I can definitely help you with that as well, as I do that often, but it's probably about 30% of my business. All the rest comes from new construction homes. Now, um, reach out to me, all my information is down below in the description. I'd love to assist you. If you're not quite ready yet, you want to go in and go to the model home and tour it and see what it looks like, still put down my name as your realtor because even though you might not buy it, if you do end up buying it in the future, you still get the representation by a realtor, which is very important when it comes to buying a home. With that said, thanks for watching. Appreciate you watching the video. See you in the next video. Like and subscribe.